Yes, yes. Maybe I should charge up my lasers. Yeah, charge away, Dan. Charge away. Charge your lasers. Because we're about to do something that we've never done on Spawn Point before. We're going to review a first-person shooter, Shoot Mania Storm. Uh, now, any grown-ups who are uncomfortable with shooting in video games should probably take control of the television now for about four or five minutes. But Shoot Mania is rated PG, and I can assure the Spawnlings and their grown-ups that the action is quite cartoony, and there's no big crazy gun. It's just a few pew pew lasers. Oh, Thank you for that, Darren. Yes, now this game was brought to us by the people who made the Trackmania series, which is known for offering gamers highly customizable, intense racing action for years. And they've brought that same idea here. This is fast-paced action, there's a map editor, you can create your own maps and game types, or play others made by people in the community. Yeah, plus the graphics aren't too intensive, so it'll run on just about any PC, even with all the settings cranked up. It's important to note that this is an online-only competitive shooter, so you will need to be connected to the internet, and don't expect a story or single-player campaign either. Either you play online or you don't play at all. Unless you're in the map editor. One interesting idea is that everyone starts with the same weapon, and that's a relatively slow laser. So leading your shots and landing a hit is hard, but rewarding when you do. And there's no power-ups or anything like that, which means everyone is on an even playing field, which is a hallmark of a good competitive game. Hmm. You can fire four shots off quickly before you have to wait precious seconds for it to recharge. So if you spam your shots but miss, then you'll be left defenceless while you wait to recharge. Each shootout comes down to a satisfying dance of tricky strafing, accurate leading and smart ammo use. There are actually two other weapons, but you need to be in a specific part of the map for them to equip. If you find yourself in a corridor, you'll find your gun changes into a grenade launcher. And if you find yourself on a ridge or near a window, you'll get a powerful sniper-type weapon. Yeah, I thought they did a really poor job of explaining that, though. I mean, I kept seeing all these other people with snipers and grenade launchers, and I was like, how are you guys getting those? Yeah, it isn't very clear, and there are quite a few things that take a while to figure out, such as certain spots on the map that make you move faster, but also stop you from jumping. And that can throw you off when you're not expecting it. Movement in general is speedy and encourages lots of jumping. And you can even do a skillful double jump off walls or glide for a bit. At the same time, it's very precise and you can stop on a dime and snap around for quick shots. There are three main game modes, but I think I like the Royal one the most because it's an elimination map with 16 players online. We did struggle to find players for some of the other modes, though. Affirmative. One of the biggest problems with this game is that, sadly, there doesn't seem to be much of a community for it yet. Looking at all the servers worldwide, there were only a few hundred people playing at the best of times. There are a few Australian servers, though, and they're worth trying to get on, since any lag will hamper your skill. Yes, not having a community is a bit worrying with a game like this, but the community that is there are a friendly bunch. Yeah, we didn't really encounter too much bad language or annoying players, and everyone seemed to be quite helpful to newcomers helping them out if they had any questions, so I really hope it stays that way. Uh, that said, I was really disappointed with the map creator. It's easy enough to use, although once again there's no tutorial, which I really would have liked because it can be quite fiddly. It also felt surprisingly limited and basic. Everything needs to be placed at right angles and in straight lines, which just seems overly restrictive. But no doubt the community will be able to make the most of it. And, you know, I think the more games with map editors, the better. Yeah, and we have started to already see some new modes come out, such as obstacle maps, where your goal is basically to run an obstacle course. <laughs> uh, personally, I liked the constant and multiple leaderboards. After a match, it tells you where you currently stand in your state, your country, and the world. It compels you to play just one more match and walk your way a few Final <laughs> Vortex? <laughs> Oh, well, I know that this game's success largely depends on its community, but, you know, for now I'm giving it seven and a half. I'm going to give it seven out of ten rubber chickens. Oh, I can't hold back any longer! Charging my laser! Go, Darren! Go, Darren!